Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got a car to start. Now we have to do some maintenance and we have to check. I mean, we still have to check on a lot of things to make sure the car is not gonna break down when we get it back on the road. So after I change the timing belt, that was the first major thing that I would do if I just fall in eat dirty. Now, now I'm going to adjust the valves. And it is recommended to adjust the valve every 15,000 miles on the M20 motor. This this is the M20 B27. This is a 2.7 liter engine. So the specification of the valve clearance is right here. 0 point, well, 0.01. So that's gonna be the specification. And here are the tools that you're going to be needing. There's a valve cover gasket. There's the fan clutch tool and just a bunch of, you know, very common tools. A quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, spot plug socket, and a 27 millimeter socket to turn the engine. If you have an M20 B25, which is the engine in the 325i, you are going to need a 22 millimeter socket or a wrench to turn the engine. So let's get to it. So it's optional to remove the spot plugs because it's going to make it easier to turn the engine by hand. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So uh, to remove the fan clutch, uh, there are actually two options at this point. You can use a fan clutch tool to remove it. So like these holes, not these, but I mean these holes, uh, they are going to go over the water pump pulley bolts. So so you will hold the water pump pulley stationary and you will use this wrench this is i think this is a 32 millimeter to to loosen the to loosen in the fan clutch it's actually reverse threaded so you have to turn it clockwise to loosen it another option is to over tighten the alternator belt right here you can see the alternator right here so there's this uh i think this is a 19 millimeter bolt or a 17 millimeter so this is how you over tighten the alternator belt okay i will show it to you so there's a 13 millimeter bolt right down here so uh, you will want to loosen the bolt and there's another one in the back you will also want to loosen the bolt after that you will want to turn this bolt to over tighten the alternator belt what it will do is it's gonna hold the water pump pulley stationary and you will be able to use a wrench or adjustable wrench to to take off the fan clutch okay after you remove the fan clutch and the fan shroud you want to spin the engine see how it gives you a lot more room and you want to spin the engine clockwise after you remove the fan clutch and the fan shroud, you want to spin the engine. See how it gives you a lot more room. And you want to spin the engine clockwise. So, yeah, let's do it. I have the spot plugs in the engine. I'm going to try to spin it. If it's not easy to spin, I'm just going to take the spot plug off, okay? So, yeah. So, you want to... Uh, so you want to remove this bolt by uh, by star pattern i don't think it really matters when you're trying to remove it it matters when you're putting that valve cover back on it so just yeah just remove it i believe i got all the bolts off now i have to remove the uh now i have to remove this connector well actually i don't even have to i could just I can just move it out of the way and that's probably what I would do but I have to remove this breather hose is down here so yeah just loosening this and remove it you want to be careful when removing this because this is really old you know it's brittle you might break it but just be careful not to break it so ah.
I use this then to uh, remove the breather hose. After that, I believe the valve cover is ready to be removed. So yeah, normally this one's stuck. Like and most valve cover, they will be stuck on here pretty tight. But this one isn't obviously, so I'm gonna remove it and so I can see the state of the engine. So let's do it. So we got the valve cover off. It is surprisingly easy. It's, it's actually pretty clean on the valve cover. And uh, if you look up inside the engine, I don't see anything that I should not be seeing. Everything looks pretty good. The engine does, is not full of craps, you know. The valve cover gasket is, it's, it's in a good shape actually. I can probably reuse the valve cover gasket, but since I have the new one, I will probably use the new one, but. And you wanna check on these head bolts to make sure they are not loose or you know broken because these cars are really old and a lot of the younger people that owned before me or i mean what i'm trying to say is this car had a lot of previous owners they might have abused it they might have overheated it and if they did that uh, one of these bolts or maybe two of these bolts maybe all of them might be broken and you have to take off the cylinder head in that case to replace these but in my case it's good but check them okay and if you buy an e30 you have to check these bolts these are important so yeah do that all right now to adjust the valve the valves that you are going to be adjusting has to be closed completely closed in order to do that we have to make in order to do that we have to turn the engine so the camshaft loop which is right here you can see this one the top of this thing it has to be pointing completely downward or as close as you can get so so uh, uh this is for the cylinder number one right here uh, so uh, there's going to be intake and ASO valve so when you're adjusting this valve right here for example you want to make sure that can the camshaft loop of this valve is pointing down so the valve that you will be adjusting is going to be closed i don't know if that makes sense but if you have any question ask me i will probably put a diagram or something to make life easier for you guys so yeah i will show you though i will show you as i train the engine oh man it's not easy to do it by one hand but because the spot plugs are still in it but uh, focus on this part of this so uh focus on this part okay you can hear the uh, you can hear some noise because of the compression but here it is you can see it now you can see the top of the camshaft loop which is here it's kind of hard to see it when you're doing it but you can use your phone to see it so it's like it's right here let me see if i can get a better angle there it is so you want to make sure this thing right here like this part of this camshaft loop is pointing downward so just turn the engine so it's going to be pointing down okay so now we are going to be adjusting this valve so turn the engine so this this camshaft loop is going to be pointing down which will make this valve fully closed i know it's kind of like complicated because i'm not really good at explaining it but you will get it all right after you did that part now we are going to have to use this tool right here uh, this is a specification that we will be needing 0 0.010 you just want to slide this part of this tool just just uh, between the valve no the, well yeah just just between here okay just and and you want to like see if it's like too loose or too tight like you don't want it to be too loose but you don't want it to be too tight neither you want to feel some kind of resistance and this this is right actually so we don't need to do anything on this valve so let's move on now, remember this is the two valves for cylinder engine so we only adjusted one valve for the cylinder number one we have to adjust this valve as well so 
do the same thing uh, to the engine so the camshaft loop is pointing down on this end of this rocker so you can adjust the valve so yeah all right now let's check the valve clearance again and this one is also good yeah that's kind of surprising but yeah now you want to tune the engine so the cylinder number five valve are going to be closed because it's easier to adjust the cylinder number one valve and after that you move on to the cylinder number five it's easier to go as a firing auto so you don't have to turn the engine you know too much so yeah so the firing order for this engine is one five hold on so it is one five three six two four uh so we don't even have to turn the engine to adjust this valve because the camshaft loop for this valve is already closed it will, it's already pointing down this valve is already closed and you know this one's yeah, this one is actually very good as well. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how to adjust adjust your valve if your valve is not within a specification because I don't want to make this video really long and I don't want to watch. I, mean, I don't want to make you watch me adjust and check all these valves because it's going to be too long. So what you want to do is. Um, if you want to loosen it, loosening this nut right here is a 10 millimeter, just loosening it. I already loosening it. So, after that, I you want to get something like this or a very small screwdriver to move this. If you move it towards you, it's going to make the valve clearance tighter. If you move it away from you, it's going to make it looser. So, just move the eccentric around and just just find the perfect feel using this this is perfect uh you know what yeah that's actually it's actually perfect so yeah after that you just want to use this to hold this hold this at the same place and just tighten in this bolt I mean that and after you do that you want to recheck it this is good and just like that you have adjusted it so yeah I check all the valve and if one of your valve or mole is out of the specification, just do what I did. Okay, so I didn't have to adjust any valve. That was, I was kind of angry because of that, because, you know, I went through all the troubles and all of the valves are within a specification, but it is what it is. And, you know, I can just uh, tighten these bolts in a star pattern. So yeah, and I will probably try to put the hood back on and I will go start the car. So yeah, this is probably going to be it for the today video. I'm gonna go close the hood and I'm gonna go start the engine. And the next time you see me walking on this car is probably never because I'm gonna be driving this car. In the next video, if I do a video about this car, so yeah, video. Right here. Let's go start a car. So dark in here. The clutch work again. By the way.